At the long table in Stroud, you pay what you can for lunch, but still get to eat if you can't. It's a social enterprise helping those at the sharp end of the cost of living crisis. Like Thea, a mother of four on universal credit, who needed a debt relief order to clear her energy arrears. My fuel debt alone was was about £3,000. Honestly, I'm looking at my app that I've now installed on my phone, seeing it go up every day. I just have to make choices, like I don't, I just don't put the heating on. Willow works with vulnerable young people and their families. Maybe the saddest thing for me is that young people don't really talk about it because it's normal to be cold in their house. A young person like came to one of our youth, youth clubs yesterday and said that it was as cold inside their house as it was outside. This winter, there'll be little respite from energy prices. From January, the price cap for typical domestic dual fuel use will rise by 1.2% to £1,738 a year. The cap is forecast to fall by a similar amount in April. As prices have risen, so has household energy debt, doubling to £3.7 billion since the Ukraine war began. This price increase is relatively small, but coming in the first cold snap of winter, it's a timely reminder of the long-term trend. Energy prices are 50% higher than they were two years ago. And without structural changes in the way we produce, distribute and pay for our energy, they won't be coming down. Energy companies are under pressure to deliver change and support. Companies like ours have built um, you know, big operations to help those customers who are struggling. Um, and, you know, things like an electric blanket really can make a difference. But fundamentally, we've just got to take, you know, as a nation, those tough decisions to slash the underlying cost of electricity. This week, ministers announced increased support for vulnerable families and subsidies for heat pumps to replace gas boilers, but won't reverse the winter fuel allowance stripped from millions of pensioners. The reason why we're on this roller coaster of price rises and price declines is because of our dependence on international fossil fuel markets that we have no control over. So our priority is to make that drive to clean power by 2030 so that we can have homegrown energy that we control. While we wait, many will rely on homegrown help to keep the cold at bay. Paul Kelso, Sky News in Stroud.